Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You notice anything different? Anything. Anything at all. No? Okay. Well, I got my teeth whitened. And you would know that if you follow me on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram right here. If you don't know, I waste half of my life on Twitter. Alright? And I'm here, and I'm back, with another little Nas video. And he pissed off the homophobes again by kissing a man. What's better than this? Guys kissing dudes. What I want to do today is share some of the tweets from Lil Nas, just making fun of people, and show you this one video that I found of this guy being super pissed that Lil Nas is gay. It's so weird because these people will go out of their way to watch something that makes them mad, and then make a video about it. Kind of like what I do. Before I show you the video, I gotta show you the tweets. So this dude said, being gay doesn't mean you have to look or act a part of a femme. You can just be a gay male and show up to the BET awards with a suit and a tie. Lil Nas replied and said, wearing traditional male clothing and using LeBron memes will not help you make straight friends, bro. Give it up. <laughs> I don't, it's funny to me. Yeah, you got kids watching that shit, bro. It wasn't cool. We all know you gay, but damn, chill that gay shit out. And he said, that's not my problem. Stop letting your kids watch the BET Awards. Put on Coco Melon. <laughs> Lil Nas X said himself that he is being used by the elites. The agenda is clear. It's up to you to figure out what to do with it. I love how the agenda is capitalized, like the word agenda, because you know the LGBTQ agenda, just like how I'm influencing all of you to be LGBTQs. He replied and said, okay, I admit it. I can no longer hide the truth. The elite sent me on a mission to get you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> mission failed. <laughs> And this last one here says, you're so insecure about your sexuality or overcompensating for it every chance you get. Gay people who know themselves don't constantly have to remind everyone that they are gay. Take a look at yourself in the mirror, bro. You're right. I am insecure about my sexuality. I still have a long way to go. I never denied that. When you're conditioned by society to hate yourself your entire life, it takes a lot of unlearning, which is exactly why I do what I do. And that one's not funny. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but it's true. Society does make you hate yourself so much and you have to unlearn all of that shit. So let me show you this reaction video. If you guys didn't know, Lil Nas kissed a guy on stage at the BET Awards. I found this after searching for a couple of hours and it was torture. So you are welcome for saving a little bit of time in your life. Yeah, let's see what this guy has to say. <sighs> this shit is really sad, yo. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. It's very, very sad. It's kind of funny because that's how I start my videos too. But uh, the stuff that I react to is actually really sad. It's not gay people kissing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's discrimination usually. A lot of I was getting a lot of DMs from you guys telling me that you wanted my opinion on like the whole entire little Nas X situation. I was gonna let it slide. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even gonna make a video on this topic because I know it can be a very, very sensitive topic for certain people. I actually want to know how you guys feel about this situation. You want to know what I think? Honestly, I don't think he should have kissed a guy on stage. There, I said it. I think he should have pulled a Kim Kardashian featuring Ray J. I haven't watched the video yet. I don't really know. All I know is that he kissed the guy. I've seen pictures on Twitter. And now that I'm really thinking about it, is that I've never, ever watched two men kiss. Ever. Like, I have yet to ever watch that shit. And I don't, I don't even know if I wanted to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Because the same way certain people don't want to watch certain movies because they don't like it. I don't want to see two guys kiss. I feel like that's very, very respectable. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you sure? Like, why are you saying it so much? <laughs> if you're a part of the LGBTQ community, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's that's very good. I, I, I respect every single human being. Every single time I react to a video like this, they always say the same signature line. I say it like every two weeks. It's cool if you're LGBTQ, but... And he's gonna say but. And no, I didn't pre-watch the video, okay? But I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call shit out when I see it, for a fact. Can you people stop? Just don't even say you accept the LGBT people. Like, <laughs> they always say the same thing. I feel like I'm I'm living, what is, the, what is it when you live the same day over and over again? Is that hell? I don't know. Well, that probably makes sense. I am transgender, so maybe I actually, maybe we're all in hell. And this is the hell version of YouTube. Y'all sent me this Twitter post right here. <laughs> I just looked at it and I'm just like, what the fuck is even going on? Like, what is going on? This is on, B this is on BET, the television show? The television show that that I used to watch as a child. So I have yet to ever see two guys kiss. 
What does he keep saying? I have, uh, just to remind you guys, I've never seen two guys kiss, okay? And now I'm thinking about all the children that are seeing two guys kiss. Like, you know how much confusion that's causing for the, for the younger generation, especially the young black people, the young black kids? You know how much confusion that's causing right now? Yeah, that wouldn't cause confusion to children if we didn't teach them that you can only be one way. What confused me as a child is seeing straight people all the time and then me wanting to kiss girls. That made me really confused because I didn't see girls kissing. I'm trans, if you didn't know, by the way, FTM. And seeing straight people for 10 years didn't make me want to be straight. So the kids today who are seeing this doesn't make them want to be gay. If they're gay, they're going to know. Like, it doesn't magically make them gay. Also, you do know that a lot of songs are about sex or love, right? And these award shows are on pretty late. And if you don't want your child to watch it, then you can just shut it off or change the channel. Is it that hard? I looked at this hourglass. I looked at the eye because the caption is the most important thing. And they, because you would think, you were like, yo, what does that hourglass and eyeball have to do with the pictures at all? Looking up the hourglass symbolism, literally, it says... The hourglass, sometimes with the addition of metaphorical wings, is often depicted as a symbol that human existence is fleeting. And that the sands of time will run out for every human life. He's talking some real shit. You can't go against Google. Come on now. You can't go against Google. I mean, technically you can go against Google because every time I Google symptoms that I have of a sickness, it tells me I have cancer. Just saying. So technically, sometimes we can go against Google. But in this case, the, the hourglass has many meanings. But if we do want to get very, very specific, um, he is talking about the straight people. That's why he put an hourglass because they're all running out of time because the gay agenda is taking over. We're working on it one, one step at a time. I'm part of it, but I'm on the trans branch. So I don't really know much about the gay branch, but I do know we are taking over the world. That's why I'm growing in YouTube subscribers. We're coming for you. Like, when it comes to everything going on, like, when it, the, with the LGD, LGBT community, like, the gay community, like, like, yeah, do yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's, I don't dislike y'all at all. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like that. Like, yeah, could do yeah. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you look up statistics, more and more people are becoming gay. And... Can we do math really quick? I know you don't want to do math. I can see it. Don't skip. Don't even do it. It'll take five. It'll take ten seconds, okay? Gay equals more accepted today, which equals people being less scared to come out, which equals more people coming out into society. All right, that's the math equation. It was that easy. If it's shown more, people are gonna be less scared. If it's more accepted, people are gonna be less scared. It's like with any other thing in society. I know there's people that are born gay, but think about this for a fact. Y'all need to think about this shit. Lil Nas X is an influencer. You are influenced within your younger generations of, of life. When children are seeing what young men are seeing kiss and and making that so normal like it's not it, that's not cool like realistically speaking bro realistically speaking bro it's not cool to go over to a sleepover and kiss a n it's not and i'm gonna jack that for the rest of my life i don't care because at the end of the day a guy is supposed to mate with a girl that's how we make children you know what i'm saying that's how we make children okay but says who i'm serious and don't tell me anything that begins with a b that doesn't count sure you do have to have a man and a woman to have a child i get it cool but people have casual sex all the time right they do it for fun so why can't gay people do it for fun we live on a floating rock with rules made up by people just like us and i sorry i'm sorry to get philosophical in reality does it have to be that way no <laughs> no also you can adopt children just let gay people have sex dude like you don't have to watch it it's fine a guy scientifically proven. I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. Scientifically proven. A guy is supposed to have sex with a girl. And that's the only way to make children as human beings. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not supposed to have sex with anybody. You don't even have to do anything with anybody. That's scientifically proven. You have to. It's a scientific fact, okay? Listen up, all of you. I'm putting my bed Shapiro on. It is scientifically proven that you have to sleep with men if you are a woman. You think Lil Nas X is clapping cheeks? Fuck no. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes, I do think he is. <laughs> um, undoubtedly. He made a tweet, huh? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna post this tweet also. Since y'all doing all of this over a kiss, I'ma just fuck the n on stage next time. You going what? You know what? 
You're mad. I'm fucking. I can't. I can't do it. He tweeted this specifically to piss people like you off, <laughs> and you're mad. <laughs> I've never seen two guys kiss, but we're, we're, you guys are about to see my reaction today for the first time. You guys are about to get my reaction of seeing two guys kiss for the first time today. Okay, so this is this is definitely a treat for y'all. Is this satire? <laughs> why does he keep telling us that he hasn't seen two guys kiss like it's like a super like special treat we're gonna see him he's gonna see his raw reaction of kissing two guys oh thanks man like i'm so excited to watch that i actually am though i heard it wasn't even like a pack then was tugging it down Think about this as a as a child though. You feel what I'm saying? Oh my gosh! What the fuck? Chill! chill he needs to chill. Come on! I just think about how many kids this influencer right now. Kids that really don't know. You know what I mean? When you're a child, you don't want to see anybody kiss. Okay. When I saw it in the movies, I hated it. If I saw it in person, I hated it. I thought it was gross as a kid. I don't even think it would matter if it was two men, two women, a straight couple. I think I would be equally as grossed out as a child. And the really funny thing is about this whole thing, they can use children as a shield all they want because there's no actual substance to their arguments. It's the same with being transgender. They always have child as the argument. Also, why is your child watching a music award? There can be inappropriate things on them. That's why they're on a little bit later. If you don't want your child to watch it, all you got to do change the channel my friend how am i gonna watch y'all want me to watch this yo nah bro he's doing way too fucking he, he might as well just have sex on stage at that point but uh yeah like i said this is not going to influence children i saw straight people kissing my entire life growing up and i still wanted to kiss girls when i was like 10 years old i don't i don't really know what else to say i know that's anecdotal but I, straight people did nothing to me guarantee you a handful of uh, thousands of <clears throat> lgbt people will vouch for me you better because we saw that growing up hey and it didn't do anything because look at you look at you you're still a gay mess all right sorry i said it or trans or bi or pan or one of the one of the alphabets as they would call us you ever seen this shit before you gotta realize this dude right here like a lot of people on the LGBT community, like the gay community, y'all think that he's such like, y'all think he's doing y'all good right now. He is doing us good because he pisses people like you off. That shit is too good. It's fucking amazing, actually. It's, it's creating more, it's creating, like me, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I accept people for who they are. I accept Lil Nas X for being gay as fuck. I do. Like he is just, he's super gay. Okay, you guys, and I, I accept him for being that person. You know what I mean? I have no type of hate or anything like that. I accept people for who they are. I'm a very accepting person. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever think this is coming out of like, no, like no type of hate. Y'all know me. I'm a straight good vibes. Oh, really? You don't feel any type of way about him being gay? Realistically speaking, bro. Realistically speaking, bro. It's not cool to go over to a sleepover and kiss a n It's not. And I'm going to jack that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Uh, that's what I thought. Oh, what I was about to say, there's a lot of people that don't like the gay community. You know what I'm saying? Like Christians or whoever else. That when, when they see someone doing something like this, that creates so much more hate and division. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't think so. Because even if we sit back and stay silent and remain to ourselves, they're still going to hate us. So why not go full throttle with it? Because if my identity or someone's sexuality offends you, you should seek mental help. It's like we're being taken away from, from mating with females at this point. You know what I mean? We're being influenced in a certain way to like not look at females. You know what I mean? No, not really. Because the majority of the population is straight. I don't really think the influence is working because exhibit A watch your own video, you weren't influenced. Exhibit B, people aren't influenced to become a certain sexuality. So, sorry, my friend. I'm gonna stand by what I said. Like, it's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't like watching guys kiss. 
I really don't. I don't know why I have to say it a thousand times. Uh, don't watch Brokeback Mountain, I guess. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. We're going to leave that right here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm just keeping it above with you guys. Comment down below your thoughts on this whole situation because I genuinely want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all we all here at the end of the day. I'm going to respect you. I'm going to respect your thoughts and your opinions. I, I like different views and perspectives. You know what I'm saying? So comment that down below. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. The same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace. Love you. Cool, cool. So do you guys think he's going to like my perspective of his video? Because people usually don't, so I'm curious. Yeah, so I guess that's everything I got for you guys today. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, that is my username on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. And be careful out there watching music awards, because you might see two guys kissing and you might become gay. So be careful out there. Alright, bye.